Follow American Hostage on Amazon Music to binge all eight episodes right now. American Hostage is an Amazon original and criminal content production. Listener discretion is advised. Episode 6, Playing With Fire. Somewhere in the middle of the whole thing, they took a national poll of how many people related to Tony Karitsis. 70% of the country related to him, the man with the gun. But I mean, let's be honest about it. Does anyone really root for the banker? We're back with Tony Karitsis here on WIBC. I'm Fred Heckman. Before we took our little break, Tony here asked us to open up our phone lines so listeners could call in and give us their thoughts and questions on this whole ordeal. We've obliged Tony's request, and the lines are now open. So if you have a question, feel free to give us a call. You gotta give out the number, Fred. Oh, right, yes. That's uh, 555-0639. And uh, I believe we have our first caller on the line now. Hello, caller. If you could introduce yourself, you're on the air. Hello? I, th- this is Tamara. Yes, ma'am. Tamara? Hello, Miss Tamara. Yes. Do you have a question for Tony? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was I was just curious what all that, that land stuff was about. I heard that, uh, like what you said earlier about Mr. Hall screwing you over, but just what was it all about? Well, let me tell you what, Miss Tamara. I am damn glad you asked. Now, let me ask you a question in return. What is Indianapolis missing right now? Uh, um, I... I don't know. Oh, come on, think! Well, Tony, I don't think she necessarily... A high-end steakhouse! I know we've got Richardson's, but I'm talking about a bona fide, real and mean steakhouse with product right out of Texas. I'm talking the leanest, best tenderloins you ever had in your life. I'm talking about Angus like you've never, ever had. I grew up in this city, and I never had a good steak until after I got out of here, until after my father passed. I went a whole lifetime without a good steak, and people deserve to have a good steak. And that's just one restaurant. I was going to develop a whole strip of restaurants and shops. So I went up there to borrow money to build a 10,000-foot restaurant that would have grossed between a million and two million bucks a year. Uh, Tony, let's not scream at her, please. And, 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 And these motherfuckers shopped it to somebody else. I had a lessee who guaranteed $100,000 a year in rent, plus 10% over a million dollars, and I could have built a building for 220 grand and put 100 grand worth of equipment in it. Now, what do you think about that, Miss Tamara? All right, Tony, we, we understand. We, we should probably get to our next caller. It's, no, I want to know what she thinks about that, Fred. I want to know what Miss Tamara thinks about me having all that squared away, all of it squared away for her sake, so she can have a great restaurant for her and her family to go to in this city. Well, I'm a vegetarian. But, but, but potatoes, then, are the best goddamn potatoes you ever had. <laughs> uh, no, I... I agree with you, Mr. Kritzis. It Was it right that, that you apparently had all that going for you and they stepped in like that? You're, that's right. That's goddamn right. You see that, Fred? Yep, I heard her, Tony. Miss Tamara, what's the maddest you've ever been? Uh, well, I, I got fired from my favorite job about two years ago. I was a waitress. Uh-huh. And did you deserve to get fired? No. No, sir. I... I was never late. I always gave good service. I just didn't get along with the manager. And were you so mad? It felt like you would blow somebody's head off. I was mad enough, sure. But, you know, I got a daughter that I have to look after, and I didn't know how I was going to do that with, with without a paycheck. You're goddamn right. Goddamn right. You see that, Fred? You see what they're doing to us? I see it, Tony. Thank you. Miss Tamara, God bless you, honey. When I get out of this with my money, you come down to the restaurant, and I'm going to take good care of you. Thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kuritzis. You bet. All right, we're, we're going to move on. Uh, move on to our next caller. So you hear that, Fred? So I told you. I told you they would get it. People get it, Fred. And our next caller is on the air. If you could introduce yourself, please. Hi, this is Leah. Oh, another woman. You've turned me into a real ladies' man, Fred. Leah, do you have a question for Tony? Yeah, get closer to that. 
Jesus Christ, they love it. I I guess it's better than the alternative. Yeah, because what he's been missing is some encouragement. Chief Gallagher is probably blowing a gasket right now. What? What? Come in. Jim? Leo Malone, yes. Uh, What can I do for you? We need to talk to you about how long Fred's going to broadcast. Hell, that's an answer I don't have, Leo. At this point, it seems like it's up to Tony. Well, we need to kill it fast. Chief wants to send in SWAT. He he what? What, what, How the hell is SWAT going to defuse anything? SWAT thinks they can incapacitate Tony and get in the apartment without setting the bomb off. And how are they going to do that? Magic? No, the incredible shrinking man? Can you get Fred to shut the broadcast down? Fred isn't the issue, Leo. I know, but if he doesn't, they've got orders to go in ASAP, and there's no counting for what'll be aired. All right, I'm sorry. I don't understand, and I need this question answered. Just what the hell are they going to do? They're going to gas him. Gas him? You can't gas him. If he falls unconscious, the gun will go off. Jim, we've been through this a hundred times down there. Hey, hey, just who the hell are you saving? Right now, the bomb is the priority. They, they don't know what it looks like. They don't know what it's made of. The potential no, blast they radius. They already got everyone else out. Well, he can't blow up an entire fucking building, Sally. About a hundred or so people live there. Anyway, it's a SWAT call. SWAT just my... wants to play with their toys. All right, does she have to be in here? Hey, yes. don't talk to her like that. Now, 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 you're saying that they have given up on Dick Hall? Is no, that I'm what... not saying that at all. Well, if they're no, gassing but... Tony to get in there and cut off the bomb... Jim, are you telling me that you're not going to talk to Fred? Sally, go get Agent Peterson. Yes, sir. But Peterson doesn't make the calls. He makes the calls here. He's federal. He makes the calls here. I'm just the messenger, Jim. Just the messenger here. Leo, I was on the phone with the FBI just this morning, and I promised them I would listen to Roy Peterson. Now, don't don't you throw me in between, you guys. We'll see what Peterson says, then. Goddamn right, we will. Son of a bitch. Saving the building. God damn. Peter, it's a downright fucking shame what they said about me. I've had the TV and radio going the whole time, and the things I've been hearing are just boggling my mind. They said you almost killed your sister with an axe. They said what now? Uh, Yeah, that's what was on Wish today, that you almost killed your sister with an axe. Now, I didn't see that, but that's a goddamn lie. That is a goddamn lie. Fred, do you hear this shit? Are you hearing this? I'm hearing it, Tony. You tell this fella how that's a lie, Fred. Well, if that's what you say it is, Tony, I'm inclined to take your side. It is a lie. You tell him. Well, uh, Peter, it seems, uh, uh, it seems that what, uh, what Tony's saying is, I said um, to tell him, Fred. It seems like that was misreported, Peter. They'll do anything to try to get one over on me. They'll lie and they'll cheat. They're all liars. They think I'm a nutcase with a gun who's just having a bad day. Do you think I'm a nutcase with a gun, Peter? Uh, No, sir. What do you think I am, Peter? Uh, I think you got pushed to where you can't take it anymore. That's fucking right. You understand me just right, pal. You hit the nail on the head. All right, who's saying that SWAT's going in? Agent Peterson, I'm Leo Malone. You? Okay, you call the chief right now and you tell him to back off. Right now. Agent Peterson, I know for a fact Look, that you're not going to do it, then I'll call them. They're going to say you're out of your jurisdiction. Well, they called me. They brought me out here. You get Eugene on the phone right now and you tell him to back off. <sighs> Jim, can I use your phone? Be my guest. Jesus Christ, this is the closest thing we've had to progress in two days and you're going to have SWAT blow Dick Hall's head off. Just the messenger. Well, get him on the phone. Tony, I think we've got time for just one more caller. You see what I'm talking about, Fred? It has been quite a trip, Tony. These people get it, Fred, so hopefully you get it too. These people know what it's like to be at the end of their rope. And they may not have done what I've done, but they've wanted to. What's wrong with this country, Fred? Well, I think it's a great country, Tony, but there's always room for improvement. That's right. That's right. Now, I don't want it to seem like I don't love this country. I do. I served. This country is my life. But it's got to do better, and the banks have got to do better, or they need to go. Because they're strangling us. Tony, we'll need to take a short break here, so stay on the line there, Tony. If you would like to call into the station, our number is 555-0639. What a day for a walk. What a day for a song. We got a computer whose name is Riley. We live in the life of Riley at WIBC.
We're back with Tony Karitsis here on WIBC. I'm Fred Heckman. Well, this will be the last caller of the day. Caller, you're on the air. Hello. This is Brother Jackson speaking. A brother? Who's a brother? I'm the minister down at the church, the Christ the Redeemer Baptist Church. Oh, a minister? Uh Uh-oh. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now, Jackson, that I'm no man of God and you're wasting your time. This isn't a call for conversion, Mr. Karitsis. Well, good, good on that, because that's sure as hell not happening. Uh, Brother Jackson, what would you like to ask Tony? Well, um, Mr. Karitsis, I called today because I'd like to make you an offer. An offer? What's your offer? I'd like to take the place of Mr. Hall. You, you want to do what? Chief's not picking up. Get a hold of him right now. I'm trying. Cliff Anderson's down there right now with the lawyers. Sally, get to your desk and you call Cliff. On it. I swear to God, if they've already sent SWAT up. It's ringing. You all may have just killed Dick Hall, and everybody's going to hear it. I don't know what you're on, Jackson. Mr. Karitsis, if you'll just hear me out for one moment. Now, I I know your anger. I've known it myself, and I've known it for many years. I don't want you to tell me how hard you've had it, Pastor, because I've had it just as hard for just as long. I'm telling you right now, nobody knows the adversity I've been through. Nobody. I am willing to be with you in this moment, Mr. Karitsis. And stop calling me Mr. Karitsis like you're trying to be some damn gentleman. Now, I don't know what you're about, Pastor Jackson, and I'm sure you're a fine man, but you're trying to take away the last thing that I got. Sir, if you need somebody... You can take me. You can take me and we'll go wherever you want and talk about whatever you want. You aren't fucking listening to me. You aren't fucking listening to me at all. Cliff Anderson. Cliff, it's Sally. You get to Chief Gallagher right now. You yell and scream at him to pull SWAT back. Whoa, Sally. No, you drop the phone right now. Tell Gallagher the FBI says to stop SWAT. You, you, you aren't listening to me. You aren't listening okay, at all. Okay, Brother Jackson, uh, Tony seems adamant on keeping things the way they are, and given how volatile the situation is... Fred, certain... Fred, don't you try to fight my battles for me, Fred. Now, I know you're trying to help me battle. And Jackson, I know you're trying to help. You're goddamn insane, but I know you're trying to help. But let me be crystal fucking clear about this. Nobody's got to worry about the state of my soul. Let me tell you what this man has done to me. How he and his family have cheated me. How they've wronged me. I've never been a great man, but I've been good, all right, for all of my life. And what I'm doing now is justice. It's justice so great that if there is a heaven splitting his head open, is gonna be my ticket in. I'm gonna walk right through those pearly gates and shake the hand of God. And all he's gonna say to me is a good job, son. Break down. You know this is not the way, my brother. All right, we're, we're gonna pull back on all of this now and let Tony speak with his lawyers. You know, I, I don't want you, Jackson. This ain't up for trades. Look at you. I'm not killing anybody willing to trade lives with a stranger. It's not the same with you. There's no justice with you, and I don't want anybody to... What's that? Uh, Tony, are you you okay? Tony, Tony, talk to me. Talk to me, buddy. Buddy, talk... Tony, are you there? Tony, Tony, can you you hear me? Brother Jackson, are Uh, you there? I'm still here. It sounds like we lost him. Uh... Uh, folks, uh, folks, I'm, um, I am, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Folks, I'm going to drop you into some music while I call Tony back and see if I can get him onto the phone. Thank you for listening. We'll be back in a moment, right after this station break. What happened? Hey, what happened? I'm trying him again. Sally? Sally did... Sally, did you get Cliff? I got him. He just hung up. I don't... Gallagher was sending swatted. He was what? We tried to pull him back, but I don't know if we got to him in time. Well, he's not picking up. Roy, I don't, I don't know what... I, I... Okay, come on. Let's go see what's happening on the police radio. Hello, Tony. Honey, it's me. Barbara? What, what happened? Barbara, sweetheart, we need to keep this line open for Tony. Fred, what happened? We don't know yet. Honey, I, I, I'll call you right back. Okay. What do we know? Sally's got Cliff on the phone. What's what's he saying? He, he stepped away. He's getting... Hang on. Sally? Cliff, I'm here. We're here. What, what happened? SWAT was going up, but Gallagher pulled them back. Ah, 
Gallagher pulled them back in time. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. God. I'm gonna have a heart attack. But Sally, Tony knows that something is happening. Wait, I'm sorry. Say that again, Cliff. I said that Tony knows they were doing something and he's hopping mad. Tony knows what they were doing. He knows. Hello. Fred, you know what just happened to me? No, no. What's going on, These Tony? Talk to me. These motherfuckers just tried to gas me out, Fred. They just tried to gas me out. They're trying to kill me, Fred. L listen, Tony, I'm sure there's another explanation. They're trying to kill me, Fred. These fuckers want me dead, which means they want Nick dead, and he and I are not happy about it at all. Tony, let, let's just calm down well, calm for a moment, down. okay? Let's just talk about down? it. Don't tell me to calm down. I've never been so goddamn pissed in my life. Why would they do that, Fred? I, I don't know, Tony. I don't know. It was a stupid thing to do. They offered me five million dollars and then they tried to kill me? I'm trading these things up, Fred. You hear me? What do you mean, Tony? Tomorrow night. We're not doing this radio bullshit no more. No more. Now, you heard how the people understand me. You know what I mean to them. No, everyone cares about you, Tony. Every, every, everybody wants this to work out. The new stations get one day, Fred. One fucking day. After the stuff they just tried to pull on me, I don't feel safe in my own home. So you tell them this is how it's all gonna go down. How uh, what's gonna go down, Tony? Tomorrow night, 8 p.m., I want a televised news conference nationally. All three channels. I want a letter of apology written by the Esther House Corporation. I want my airtime, Fred, and I now I want to be seen. So these stupid fucks or these asshole big fuckers can't try to do anything stupid because everyone will see them. Do you understand what I'm telling you, Fred? Y yes. I, I, I think what you're saying is you want to be put on TV. Tony. That's exactly what I'm saying. Right here, my apartment, 8 o'clock. You tell them. Well, uh, I, I'll, I'll tell them. And I want you down here, Fred. You're my best friend, and we're in this together. Are we, pal? Fred, babe, you're coming down here, right, pal? Well, uh, I'll be there, Tony, yes. You're a good man, Fred. I'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. I'll see you, Tony. You spend the night with your wife, Fred. Because it's going to be a hell of a day tomorrow, pal. A hell of a day. I didn't just make myself a part of the story. I pulled the whole station into it with me. I never once stopped to think about what it might do to them. The ramifications. Once I had my sights on the prize, I put the whole station, the whole city, really, in jeopardy. Tony Karitsis had been screaming into the void for years before the world noticed him, before I heard him. But that doesn't mean I should have let him speak. Next time on American Hostage. You shouldn't be going down there, Fred. He's the only one Tony feels comfortable with. Barb, what? you're not listening to me. They're gonna kill him. You still praying for me? Yeah. Having talked to Tony this morning, are you satisfied that he would be willing to trust you? I don't know. Behind the line. Behind the line! Turn the goddamn cameras off. I'm gonna show you something. Hello. Fred, it's Tony. He's calling the house now? The next episode will be out in a week. Or you can binge all eight episodes right now on Amazon Music. Or you can listen ad-free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. American Hostage is an Amazon original and criminal content production. Written by C.D. Carpenter. Directed by Sean Christensen. Produced by Adam Volerich and Brendan Hubbard. Executive produced by John Hamm, Sean Christensen, and Gabriel Mason, starring John Hamm, Carla Gugino, Joe Perino, Dylan Baker, and Becky Ann Baker, with additional performances by James O'Connor, Christina Brucato, Michael Dreyer, Ryan Willard, Mara Casson, Brian Wilson, sound design by Brandon Jones, composed by Darren Morsey, editing by Thomas Beach, Sean Christensen, and Adam Volerich. Recording and engineering by Dave Williams. Mixing, mastering, and additional editing by Nick Masitti. ID reads by Natalie Prass. For Amazon Music, executive producers are Morgan Jones and Dave Easton. Senior producer is Eliza Mills. Special thanks to Jacob Bronstein, Phil Sanchez, Chris Davis, Jack Parker, Marcelino Villalpando, Stephanie Walkneen, Vlad Norman, Vanessa Rebert, Sam Petherbridge, Kale Bittner, Alice Zoe, 
Trevor McNeil, Ty Jacobson, Rich Sherman, Marshall Louie, WIBC, Wish TV, and Creative Artists Agency.